you got to be able to just push it out there and just leave it. Then you can't fool around with it too much, you know? A lot of times I make a whole bunch of them just bring them up to sort of like salad bowl and go back a couple hours later and then just lay it over. Put it back in the field. How many places did you do for that? Those? Oh, 500. Well, I tried to get uh, 200. I still haven't got that. I broke up about 300. They don't. They don't uh, it's hard to get a trade out. How do you find Real slow. Yeah. No, they're uh, medium. They get reduced. Come on, five. Take them up higher. They, they'll go up higher if they get them dark. It makes them crack and then warp. I tried them in all different ranges. Those are about the whole time. They're all the same clay. Are they just colored black? Are they colored black? No, there's a. Uh, oh, what's blue is? There's some blue. That's uh, on the surface. Uh, just a um, real thin glaze, bog down, you know. Um, the bits of fire. There's some iron in the clay, iron oxide in the clay. And um, the bits of fire, and then uh, around some of the holes on the course, and I put a blue glaze on there and rub it off, you know, go down in the fire there. And then uh, I fog on the glaze. I'm going to pull it away. I'm going to fire it up to cone 5. What happens there is that uh, you know, the glaze melts at low temperatures for the reduction is taking place. Hmm. So that's where that yellowish color comes from. If you had that all over, it would be all yellow. You know? And then uh, it's on so thin it starts to burn here on the edges. You know, and that's where the clay starts to come from. So it says actually 04 glaze fired a cone fire. It's very thin. Is that in the wood It's just regular gas? Yeah. 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 It looks like a wood. Yeah. That's what it took me a long time to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. That's on the wood.